Danny here again with Athlete's Potential. We're going to go over a quick kind of screening self-test for those of us that are having issues with the squat, in particular the overhead squat. Okay, so we're going to use a uh, quadruped or hands and knees kind of rock back position where we want to see uh, is, is there a true mobility problem or is there more of a motor control and not really understanding how to do the pattern problem um, or is there some, some weakness there, right? It kind of tells us uh, what track we need to head down when we assess our athletes. So this is what it looks like. So hands and knees position, what we want you to do is we want you to achieve a, a neutral lumbar spine position. So your back should be relatively flat, okay? So as we drop back in this position, shoulders and hips are lined up. We want to drop our, our butt back while maintaining tension in our stomach until we get to 90 degrees or further and we want to see at what point, if any, does our butt start to tuck under. So when we look at like a butt wing position, it, this is kind of what happens. We hit parallel, butt tucks under, and then it shoots back into extension to come out. Well, if we can maintain this position as we go through a hollow or a rock back position, then we know we have enough mobility in our hip flexors, we have enough spinal control to maintain that, okay? It could be an ankle problem downstream that we don't have enough dorsiflexion and it's forcing us to have to lean too far forward, tucking our butt under as we kind of close down the hip too early. Maybe, maybe not. Might be the fact that we just don't have enough control anteriorly. It's kind of a complex movement to improve. This will give you an idea of what you need to do going forward. If you can do that, and we know you're probably okay here, well, maybe we just need to work on some control. So one of the ways we'll do that is we'll actually take a band and we'll come back to that same position. And as we rock back, we're actually going to come into a single arm overhead squat position. So we're going to get tight through the stomach. We're going to start by rocking back as we raise an arm up overhead. Maintain, maintain, maintain as we squat down to that position. And then we're going to come back up. Okay? So control again, get tight, rock back, rock back, arm up, reach up, and then lower back down. Okay? And we'll go through this as a preparatory drill. The best option for you to see if this is really going to be a kind of magic bullet is overhead squat. Get a little bit of manageable weight, whether it be PVC pipe, empty bar, overhead squat, try this drill, try this self-test, and then squat again after that. If it feels easier, then you have a strong motor control component to this. You don't necessarily just need to be spending a lot of time working on hip mobility or ankle mobility for that matter. It's probably more a motor control. You're learning a new pattern, okay? So use this, 10 on each side, if that works for you, this should be something that you do every day when you come into the gym working on that pattern because we know it's a big limiter for all of our athletes, whether it be overhead squat or the Olympic lifts or even variations of a front squat, more of an upright squat. It can help you in a lot of those movements. So guys, give it a try. If it works for you, try to add this into your training, into your warm-up for about three to four weeks to make a long-term change and then see how that works out for you when you hit those Olympic lifts. All right, thanks.